All right, today we're at Stanford. We're gonna tour around the men's swimming. Let's go. Hey guys, my name is Ethan Deng. I'm a junior on the Stanford men's varsity swim team and I specialize in breaststroke. I study economics and I'm excited to show Kyle around our campus. Let's go. So we're super lucky, I think, to have one of the largest facilities and the most water in an aquatic center in the country. So this pool here, can be converted to long course. This pool is called Baker, and this is like the main pool we practice in, I'd say, especially during the short course season. Water polo and artistic swimming will be practicing in Avery, where we actually compete most of the time. And then, yeah, that pool over there is Polarity, and that's always long course. I mean, it looks completely different whenever we do host an event. Yeah, I think we hosted NCAAs for water polo as well, but yeah, I mean, it's always a great option to host these national level meets because just the amount of water we have, right? I mean, obviously there's so much space for swimmers to warm up, warm down, a lot of space to sit around as well. The thing about Cal's pool is it's absolutely freezing cold all the time. Whereas here, and especially in the Avery Aquatic Center part, like it's kind of like shaded in the wind, the wind doesn't hit you and everything, but at Cal it's freezing cold. So I appreciate the, the multiple warm down pools. You guys got a hot tub, which we don't have at speaker. This is homie our snack shed too many options right now but typically before practice we just grab one of these and then after practice you know all obviously have the post workout our divers are great right it's a really small tight-knit community between us and them and they're always integrated within our you know social life as well and within our trainings have you ever jumped off the 10 meter here only on my recruiting trip after practices especially saturday practice we'll just be sitting here as a team and we do this tradition called two clap where you know we list off you know achievements or kind of things that people have done throughout the week and then we acknowledge it by all clapping twice together. Everything around our facilities, especially within the athletic community here, is all together in one sort of hub on campus, which is nice because our campus is way too big to be, you know, commuting here and there. This is the largest campus in the world outside of the University of Moscow. Yeah, these are one of our many weight or racks that you can take. Um, this is basically where we do all our lifting. Uh, and we have so many different types of equipment that we can use. Uh, we have a great strength coach as well, but um, basically all the teams kind of work out here and we have our own time slots. So it can get a little crowded sometimes, but I think, you know, there's a lot of space for a lot of different exercises and cool things we can do here. You guys have a team nutritionist and everything? Oh yeah, she's great. Her name's Elise, shout out Elise. Um, she like hacks all her snacks for us, everything like that. We have any questions about, you know, specific diets we want or supplements we might want to take. Um, she's the go-to, she cares so much about it always schedules meetings with us. Our folders aren't here, but uh, this is where we typically have our folders where we do our list and stuff. And if you become an alumni or a legend, they put your folder in here, which is really cool. This is a uh, sports medicine room. This is where we, you know, ask athletes come and get our work done, be needed, um, mobility, you know, stretching, things like that. Our masseuses come here and our sports uh, doctors, you know, give us good massages. Our sports uh, doctors who um, work on us are actually the same people that work with the 49ers. So you have, you know, people who are working with experienced athletes and they, they hurt us. They hurt us a lot, but um, it's good. It's always good. And this is our, where our recovery continues. Uh, this is a cold tub here, which is really freezing. Um, and we have a hot tub over there with an Epsom salt. So here we are at the home of champions. Uh, we're excited to show you guys what's inside. Basically, you know, what makes Stanford Athletic special, I think, is how tight-knit our community is. There's only 6,000-ish undergraduate students. Within that, you know, the athletic community is really, really tight. You know, we all eat together in the dining hall. We all know each other, and we all are really proud whenever one of us brings home an Addy Championship. Here's the Hall of Fame. So let's say you have the decades of the 1960s, so this is kind of like a yearbook. You just bring it up to one of these places and tap it in. I mean, here you have the 1960s letter winners, so you can search, you know, by sport. Let's look at, you know, men's swimming. So the coach in the 1960s, you know, was Tom Haney, and you have a whole roster, basically, of, of all the the swimmers. Can pull up some stats about them. Favorite Stanford athlete of all time? Ooh, that's a tough question. Probably Christian McCaffrey. He's sick, you know, and he's had such a great reputation here. This is interesting that you guys call it the Stanford Axe and why the Stanford Axe, like I always thought it was an ax because you guys are the trees and you know, bears chop down trees, but this isn't the real one. We won this year, right? Yeah, we don't have it right now. So this is where all the recruits come to take their photos. Their convenient photos, yeah. Typically when we see people take pictures here, we have a good idea when now they're gonna come. You know? Most athletes here, especially the football players usually have like these fancy, you know, electric bikes. So funny enough, one of our best, you know, football alumni, Andrew Love, 
Chuck had like the crappiest like metal bike and I'm pretty sure he still rides it around like all the time here whenever he visits you can just see him like biking around campus just like kind of cranking his legs so right by the Oklahoma champions is Jimmy V's which is like the place that mostly athletes come to eat and congregate you know grab lunch grab breakfast after a hard practice so I've known Ethan for a long time we swam against each other in high school swam together on the same team even and he even came to a trip at Cal but I gotta know what led you to choose Stanford I think you know growing up in Seattle and Washington we always you know came to watch the Pac-12 championships because it was hosted there and just ever since I was a kid I can remember just looking at the Stanford guys at that meet and thinking to myself like I want to be them you know I want to be there so it's been a dream school of mine for as long as I can remember and I think coming here and realizing that you know I could learn a lot about economics and finance while also gaining that strong liberal arts background as well and be a part of you know a great team culture that has you know a history of being one of the top programs in the sport all those factors kind of together kind of led me to ultimately choose this school what would you say your favorite part about the swim team is I would definitely have to say the fact that everyone on the team team whether you know it be in or out of the pool has some sort of niche in some sort of area where they're like super you know either curious about or super interested in everyone has kind of their own hobbies and we all really just like push each other onto that whether it be like you know someone who's extremely interested in you know Russian history that kind of small banter especially when we're at process and stuff helps you know just keep the the mood really lighthearted. everyone on the team really cares about each other you know whether it be in or out of the pool we always push each other to you know be the best Best person and athlete and students we can be. What are your goals to accomplish in your time at Stanford? My class coming into the recruiting class was, you know, ranked pretty high. What we had intentions of doing is coming in and making this program better than it was and leaving it better than it was when we first arrived. And I think, you know, we're on track to do that, especially with so many great swimmers and great guys here. What are you going to do after college with that awesome Stanford degree? Yeah, so I'm actually going to go uh, into investment banking. Ooh. And, uh, it's it's a classic as classic route for econ and finance majors. Um, I'm sure you know, especially at Cal as well. Yeah. It might not be the most interesting you know, field, I guess, but um, it's something that you know I think has a lot of correlation to being an athlete. And you know, the culture, um, the type of work you do, you know, the fast-paced environment, I think is just something that I'm really excited to join and continue doing, especially when I'm done swimming. What is the coolest Stanford athlete that you've ever met or seen on campus? I would say it's definitely got to be Andrew Luck, just because that guy is the most humble and kind like person he's um i mean one of the greatest nfl players of all time so um he's always down to earth and always super nice and willing to talk to you to all the recruits out there why should they come to stanford besides just the classic cliche of you know stanford being a great academic school and being a great athletic program as well being an athlete especially at stanford requires a certain type of person and it's not i'm gonna be honest it's not meant for everyone but for the people that do want to do this i think there's no program out there that focuses on academics as hard as we do and focuses on swimming and athletics as well and balancing the two together. Also just athletically, I would say our group of guys are one of the hardest group working group of people I've met in and out of the pool. So I think just constantly being around all these motivated individuals, you know, kind of pushes you to be the best person you can be as well. Stanford just really gives you, as especially as a recruit or someone looking to come to Stanford, an opportunity to pursue whatever it is you want to pursue. And we have the resources for anything someone might be curious about pursuing. So I would say just like follow your curiosity, follow what interests you, um, follow where your efforts are and you're gonna end up pretty pretty well here at Stanford. Favorite Stanford men's swimming tradition? There's a lot that's changed, I think, um, over the past decades in terms of our traditions, but one that we've kept is, you know, the Stanford Red Run, where um, during our alumni meet every single year, we all get in our Speedos, our red Speedos, classic Stanford Red, and we all have to run around the entire campus as a whole team, and we do it right before our alumni meet, so it's to help the alumni in terms of them suiting up and then like making it even, so so we're, we're deprecating yourself by running exactly. around campus. We run around the entire campus. We go through dorms. We crash dorms. We bang on their doors. Tell them to come out. How far of a run is that? It's too too many miles. Really? Too many miles. Yeah. Really? It's like more than like five miles kind of thing? Yes. So like oh. we're, by the time we actually race, you'll have a bunch of us just like cramping from the start of a dive and like it's 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 a it's brutal but it's it's one of the funnest traditions and it's actually what i was able to experience on my recruiting trip here oh i love that if you guys haven't already make sure to go hit up ethan on instagram yeah i mean it was great showing you around and you know hopefully this helps with anyone you know looking to come to stanford anytime you want ethan and the stanford men's swim team they're here to show you guys around and tell you what's up a huge shout out to you guys for doing this we'll see you guys next time